Well, what's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. We have been presented with a rare opportunity. This right here is a yellow jacket's nest and these are some mean bees. Well, I shouldn't call them bees, they're actually wasps. Now I know this is not plant content, but again, I thought this would be pretty interesting for you guys to see. Um, it's very rare that you get to look at a, a working um, wasp nest, right? A lot of times we've seen probably things in like museums and stuff, but these are alive and well. And in most of my videos, I always do some sort of reckless thing. Either it's razor blades, well today it's bees. We're going to put my hand inside of this jar. I did a little consulting with my buddy prior to this, and he gave me some advice. And he said, if their antenna look like candy canes, they're males and they should be safe. But if they're a little more straight, those are probably females and they will sting you. So I just wanted to take a chance. I felt like I identified them well enough. And I think my luck paid off because they haven't stung me yet. However, you could tell my body did not trust my mind because my hands were sweating quite a bit. You can see it glistening in this footage with this uh, wasp crawling around. I still was a little nervous because, again, I'm not an expert at identifying these guys. And this was my first time attempting it, so it was uh, a little scary, but it was fun. So what you're seeing in this footage are actually drones, and these are the male bees. They really just work in the hive and tend to the hive. They don't really do anything else, and they also cannot sting. So that is the assumption I made, that these are all males. Now, they have been hatching in this jar as time goes on, so it's getting harder and harder to keep track of who is all in here. But so far, I think I've gotten really lucky, and zero females have actually hatched, which is pretty cool. And that gives me an opportunity to really explore this living hive. Or nest, I guess. I should call it a nest. I keep, I keep mixing up terminology with bees and wasps. I think almost everybody does. But either way, isn't this really cool to see? These guys will just tend to the nest, tend to the babies, and you can even see some are hatching now. I want to say the ones that are hatching at the very moment are also males, but again, by the time I wake up tomorrow morning, I might find out that there's a lot more females in here in which I will not be sticking my hand in this jar because I do not want to get stung. When I first caught this nest, I was actually a little confused, and there was actually a short I produced earlier where I showed a lot of these little like more maggot-looking worm-style creatures that are in the comb. I thought that that would um, become the adult wasp a lot sooner, if that makes sense. I didn't realize that the ones that are capped off it was actually where the adult ones are pretty much ready to go. So it seems like they feed the egg. I mean, there's a little, you can see little eggs in there as well. So there's eggs and then as they slowly like turn into their different forms, I'm, I'm not really sure what the common terminology is. I want to say like pupa or I'm not really sure, larva. But they feed them, you know, and as they get bigger and bigger and more plump, I believe they cap them off. And while they're capped off, that is when they go through their final transition into that adult either drone or... I don't know if they're called worker wasps, the ones that actually go out and gather and sting you. So it was just really cool to see this up close. I did try and pinch one. Obviously not really hard. I'm not trying to crush it. I just really restrained it just to see if it would get angry. And it tries to bite, but you can see they're pretty much harmless. Um, they did every once in a while almost simulate as if they were going to try and sting me. They got like real aggressive feeling. I could really feel their wings actually. They're really strong in the way they beat. So it was, it almost felt scary for a few seconds every time they would kind of get a little wild on me. But again, these are all harmless males, so I got really lucky. I really did enjoy watching these wasps just work the nests and monitor their children. And in the short as well, I did try feeding some of these little baby ones. It actually is pretty gross and honestly not the most pleasurable thing to view because they're very like ferocious and they just like grab onto whatever they can and just start chewing. It's just like, I don't really, I don't really like machine-like animals, if that makes sense. And they felt very like machine-like in the sense that they just instantly react to food. I don't know. It's very unsettling. But either way, it was still really cool to see all this up close and personal. I'm actually going to try and just set this off in the woods somewhere. I highly doubt that they'll survive because I wasn't able to find a queen. I think the queen was killed while I was digging this nest out of the ground. But sometimes these nests are able to make new queens, and so we'll see what happens. I. Don't see high hopes for this, but either way, I had to get rid of it for my family's sake, and I thought it would just be really cool to at least share like what this hive looks like or this nest looks like for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, thought it was interesting. Again, not, a pl not plant content, but I know a lot of people who like plants are also just nature lovers in general, so it's kind of cool to see this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this.